Hello everyone. Today I'm coming to you with a very quick crock pot recipe that I promised using my favorite Hello Lover. I love this thing. I love my crock pot because it saves me time, especially when I feel lazy and don't feel like cooking and going over a stove. The crock pot will save your life. So today we're going to be making cream. Uh, it's called creamy chicken and rice. It's a recipe that I forgot where I got it from. I really couldn't tell you. Um, but it's something that I've made a lot um, throughout the years. And it's one that I go to when I want something quick. And I want something um, that I can you know, do the points for. And it's relatively healthy. So what you'll need. Three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Or however much chicken you desire. It's just what came in the pack for me. I got it from Wegmans. So... I have three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm gonna need some brown rice. I had some Uncle Ben's brown rice. I'm gonna need a can of the 99% fat free cream of chicken soup and your seasonings. Season salt. I'm gonna use a little Miss Dash, paprika, whatever else I feel in the mood for. So I'll show you the next step. So I'm all about not dirtying up a lot of dishes because then I have to clean them. So I added to my measuring cup one cup of the Uncle Ben's brown rice that instead of it, usually you're supposed to mix all the ingredients and then pour it into the crock pot. If it's all going into the crock pot, I'm just going to mix it in the crock pot. So you pour the brown rice in there and then I'm going to take my cream of chicken soup and I'm going to pour that on top and a cup of water. I think it's a cup of water. Let me be sure. It is a cup of, a can, like, so you pour the can in and then a can of the water into that. I know it looks disgusting, I know it does. But because I like creamier rice, I'm adding a little more water. So instead of doing a can, I'm doing a can and a half of water um, because I found that that makes it creamier. And I'm just mixing the, um, Brown rice, the cream of the cream of chicken, and the water all together. Just mixing it, and I'm gonna add the salt, some salt, pepper, and paprika to this. So I'm gonna do that now since you're watching. Let's not have a fiasco like in some of my other videos where I add too much salt. So because the soup already really has salt, so I'm not doing a lot because I'm watching my sodium. I'm going to add some Miss Dash, like that, and I'm going to add some paprika, because I like saying that word, <laughs> here, like so, and I'm going to mix it together a little more, just to make sure, because the thing is, guys, I mean, it's going to, the water, the rice is going to absorb all of this liquid, so you should be good. Then... I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to place it. My chicken's been washed. I just am going to literally place it on top of the rice. This is what I mean by the crock pot. This is called simple cooking. <laughs> so um, that's in there. And I'm going to sprinkle a little more paprika on top of the chicken that's already in there. Um, a little more mustache and then I'm going to uh, put the oven on well not the oven I'm gonna turn the crock pot on you can do this I just like to kind of spread the stuff around on top and you put this some people add onion you know what I may add onion it's not the, what I usually do, but I think I want onion in this. Yeah, I do. Somebody cut up some onion, and that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. So I added about half of a dice, a large diced onion to this because I love onions, and I don't see where it would hurt. It's a veggie. <laughs> Who cares? And it's only going to taste better to me. So then I'm going to plug my crock pot in. I'm going to turn it to... Uh, have it cook for six hours and I'm gonna go to work <laughs> basically uh, that's what I'm gonna do so I just wanted you to kind of see actually I'm gonna make it eight hours because I like it to be on low not high I think no I'll keep it at six six is fine 
And that's it, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Told you this is simple. Okay. And it's finished. Oh, my gosh. It, I came home. It's 145, so I put it in around 10, 1030, 1130, 1030, 1130, 1230, 1230. So about three and a half hours. It probably could have gone to four hours. I may let it cook a little longer. There's still some juice, but it smells so good. So, so, so good. So I'm going to let it cook. Like I said, it's really creamy. I'm going to do a little taste test since it's me eating it. The onions, I think, were a very good idea. So I'll taste it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Maybe use a little more salt. You could put a little more salt in there, but it's a very good flavor. And I serve this with veggies. So you could put a side of veggies because you have your... That's my phone, guys. <laughs> you have your whole grain with your brown rice. You have your, uh, you know, protein with the chicken and then add a veggie and it's a wonderful dish.